Hi guys and welcome. You're joining me today for a short tutorial on how to make simple look trousers, shorts, dungarees that you've already got look vintage, as in 1940s. And it's simple, so simple to do. Um, so let me get you in position so you can actually see what I'm going to be uh, talking about. So what you can see I've got on the table here guys is just a plain pair. I've got a turn upon, but they are a plain pair of white trousers that's just some cotton plain pair of white trousers but i wanted to make them look a bit vintage yet. and the, how i'm going to do that is by is by actually adding some anchor buttons now there's all different types of anchor buttons that you can get different colors you can also get these in white and these you can actually push the anchor out so you could if you wanted to you could just sew the anchor on so that's cute isn't it we pop that back in there so i've been looking at what color i want and i've decided i want navy so i'm just going to put where the pockets are i'm going to put three on that side three on that side and that is going to make my shorts look a bit vintagey. So I'm going to just get a pen and mark where they are. First of all, I'm going to put one where the bottom is. And I'm just going to get, just, it's just a, a normal pen, this, that I'm going to just mark there. So that's where I'm going to be stitching it. I'm going to get one at the top. Put that back on. Now you could mark this with a tape measure, but I'm just looking at roughly, I'm quite good with um, measurements. But you could just mark those two and then mark it in the centre. So I'll actually show you how to do that. So I'm going to put that to one. So that's actually 4.3. So in the centre of that, it's going to be two and one and a half. So I'm just going to put that there. And that is the centre. So I've got that one will be stitched there, that one will be stitched there, and that one will be stitched there. And I've got my even mark. So you can just see there, I've got three, three little marks that I'm going to stitch the buttons onto. So you can see here guys, three different items of clothing that I've done this same project on. This is a jumpsuit, it's got wide legs and the three quarter legs end, they're not full length, but you can just see on the pockets there that once again, I've stitched some anchor buttons on and that's given me a, a bit of a vintage look to them. These trousers, I absolutely, they're not trousers, they're jeans, they're denim jeans, and I absolutely love these. Again, the wide leg, and I've just put, these buttons are beautiful, and they're actually mother of pearl, but they are just so gorgeous with the light change colours, you know, as you're moving it about. And then what I normally do when I'm going to a, if I was going to a rock and roll do, I would turn those hems over, iron them in place and then again I've got my rockabilly jean look. These trousers I made and I made them about two years ago uh, and once again they're a wide leg, they're lined but on the pockets I put some gorgeous anchor buttons that they actually look vintagey because they've like, they are metal like silver but then they've got like a white coating of paint that's been distressed and once again that gives you your 1940s vintage look with your buttons on your trousers. So I'm going to get this button stitched on in place. Now they are a navy button and I could use, well I have a navy rather black because they are quite dark aren't they? I think they are dark navy so I could use navy cotton but I'm going to use white because it's a white short. Just put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to double my thread because then you have to sew it, you don't have to sew it twice as much because you're doing it with two, 
tosalsa koppen. And then you need to make sure that you've got your anchor in the right position. Right, let me just get this through the back to get it started. I might get that where the mark is and start stitching that on. You want to make sure that this is quite secure. That's quite tight on there, so I'm going to bring this through. And then where I've got my stitching is there, I'm just going to keep putting the thread through that stitching. So where I've got it here, I'm just going to keep bringing this through the stitching. I'm probably going to do this about four or five times so that it's not going to come undone. Right, so let me just cut that off. And then that is the first button stitched in place with the anchor the right side. So I'm going to just do all the other buttons and then we'll take a look at the finished garment. So that's the finished look, guys with the anchor buttons on the pockets and pairing it with a vintage type top. Now this is a, a top that I made where basically I put a slash neck on and I put three quarter sleeves on but because it's the uh, navy and white striped uh, it's a typical look that you'd get in um, the 1950s. So paired together they make a great team. So you can just see from that, guys, how easy it is to make um, a plain pair of shorts, jeans, trousers, jumpsuits make look a bit vintage -y by just adding some beautiful buttons to them. Now, you don't necessarily have to have anchor buttons. If you can get your hands on some, great. But if not, you saw those beautiful buttons that I put on my jeans, which was just mother of pearl. And the, I think they're about probably just over an inch in size. So they're a good size. Uh, button to put on that you're going to look and think oh they look nice because I have had some nice comments on them jeans when I wear them so I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little share guys of how to make some of your plain items of clothing look a bit vintage by just adding some buttons so thanks for joining me guys take care for now and see you soon bye for now